Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. From Apple's Siri to Google's self-driving car, there are numerous real-world applications of machine learning. Even during this pandemic, the demand for people skilled in machine learning is quite high. Hundreds of thousands of jobs are on the horizon, and at the same time, students, professionals, and experts will be applying for the same. So even with huge advantages such as this, there is a challenge of strong competition from the best minds across the world. Mind you, all of this considering that machine learning is one of the most in-demand careers ever. So ask yourself this question. Do you think you have the requisite skills to get that dream job in the field of machine learning? You can answer that with a yes using the highest quality of structured learning material we present to you here. The series aims to introduce job role based learning tracks on Great Learning Academy's career path. In addition to that, we also aim to showcase the in-depth career roadmap that you guys as learners and enthusiasts should definitely consider when learning the domain and applying for those high paying roles in the year 2021. With Great Learning Academy, you can learn the most in-demand skills and power ahead in your career. The Great Learning Career Path presents multiple domains and job role-based learning tracks for you to choose from on the basis of your interest. If you are a machine learning enthusiast and you're considering possible career options in this domain and ways to prepare yourself for it, click on the machine learning domain from this drop-down here and select the job role that you want to consider. Let's say you aim to be a machine learning engineer. Clicking on this option will take you to the relevant page where you'll get all the job role related information and also career transition recommendations. You can scroll down further to avail our PG programs that we recommend you to go for under this section. Get to read testimonials from learners who already enroll for these courses and how it helped them make outstanding career transitions. Scrolling further below, you'll find a list of free courses that Great Learning provides you to start your journey towards being a machine learning engineer. The free course section guides you with the exact recommended learning flow to ensure an effortless learning experience and preparation towards being a machine learning engineer. Any course that you choose to enroll from this list will present you with the course details, the skills covered and the syllabus. Upon completion of every course, you'll be entitled to earn a free certificate of completion which you can add to your resume or LinkedIn profile and boost your chances of getting a job. Alternatively, you can also scroll to this section right on our homepage where we guide you with all popular career options that you can consider. You can also choose domains you're interested in from the tabs available here. Each of these tabs will present you with the relevant job roles and recommended courses as discussed in the earlier section of this video. Excited? Get started and power ahead in your career now. Machine learning is changing the world that we live in. And that is why top companies such as Facebook, Google, Microsoft and Amazon are on a hiring spree for machine learning engineers. So keeping that in mind, we have come up with this crisp video on machine learning career roadmap in 2021. On that note, let's understand what exactly is machine learning with this simple example over here. So what do you see in this slide? What is this exactly? It's a bird, isn't it? Now, how about this? Well, this too is a bird. And this, well, this again is a bird. Now, how do you know all of these are birds? Well, as a kid, you might have come across a picture of a bird and you would have been told by your teachers or your parents that this is a bird and your brain learned that anything that looks like this is a bird and that is how our brain functions. So our brain has looked at all of the features of this entity and whenever it comes across a picture of a bird or real life bird, it automatically recognizes that the name of this entity is a bird. Now, what if I actually take these images of birds and feed it to a machine? Will it be able to identify that this actually is a bird? So this is where machine learning comes in. So machine learning works on the same principle. What we'll do is we'll take thousands or even millions of pictures of all of these birds and keep on feeding them to this machine until it learns all of the features associated with these birds. And once it learns all of the features, which is called training, 
Once the training is done, we will give it new data or the test data to determine how much this machine has learned. And over here, we will determine if the training is done properly, then the machine would be able to correctly label this entity as a bird. So what we are doing is first we are training this machine on raw data. Then we will give it new data to determine how much it has learned. And this is the underlying principle of machine learning. So now that we understand what exactly is machine learning, let's understand why do you need to learn machine learning? Well, the answer is simple. Machine learning is disrupting the technology sector right now. And all of the companies that have invested in machine learning and artificial intelligence have grown more than 15% in just a single quarter. And that is why top companies such as Google, Facebook and Microsoft are on a hiring spree, especially when it is for the machine learning roles. And that is just not it. The best part is the salary. So as an entry level machine learning engineer, you get a salary of $90,000. And that my friends is not at all low. That is one of the best salaries that you can get at entry level. And the average salary of a machine learning engineer is $148,000, which is already at the higher end. And when you're in the upper management, you get around $250,000 to $300,000 in the top companies across the globe. So that is why my friends, machine learning is the go-to job right now if you are interested in disrupting the world with latest technology. So now that we know what exactly is machine learning and why do you need to learn machine learning, let's look at the roadmap for learning machine learning. So there are essentially four pillars. The first pillar of machine learning would be mathematics as it forms the core of ML and AI. And especially in mathematics, you need to know about linear algebra, statistics and calculus. When it comes to linear algebra, you'll be working with a lot of matrices, especially in machine learning. So that is why you would have to know about how to inverse a matrix or maybe you'd have to know about diagonal matrices or you'd have to know about orthogonal matrices. So you'll be dealing with a lot of linear algebra and that is one of the important aspects of mathematics. Then in ML, you would also have to learn about statistics. So simple stuff such as measures of central tendency, measures of deviation. These are some things which you definitely need to know. Then when it comes to complex statistical stuff, you would have to know about hypothesis testing, central limit theorem, and all of these are also some things which you need to learn comprehensively. And then finally, Calculus is also important because there'd be a lot of cases where you would need help of differentiation and integration to find the area of a curve or area under a curve. Next pillar is programming. Now, understanding ML is one thing, but implementing those ML algorithms through code is totally different. And when it comes to machine learning, there are two primary languages which are widely used across all of the industries and those are Python and R. Python and R are extremely versatile and these are widely used. Python especially can be used for a lot of purposes and it is one of the widely used library for machine learning. And when it comes to R, it is a language which is developed by statisticians for statisticians. So if you'd want to do any sort of statistical analysis, then R needs to be your go-to language. Now, apart from Python and R, you would also need knowledge of deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch because machine learning algorithms are mostly implemented with the help of neural networks and you can implement these neural networks with the help of these deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow. So knowledge of these would be extremely beneficial for you. Going ahead, the next pillar would be ML algorithms. So when it comes to machine learning, you can break it down into supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. And my friends, these three are extremely important and you would have to know everything that is involved when it comes to these three types of learning methods. So I'll just give you a brief of these three. When it comes to supervised learning, 
you actually have labels associated with the data and you have independent variables and dependent variables and you basically try to understand how do the dependent variables change with respect to the independent variables. Next, we have unsupervised learning. When it comes to unsupervised learning, we have data without any labels and we try to understand the underlying structure of the data. And finally, we have reinforcement learning. So in reinforcement learning, as the name suggests, you keep on reinforcing one particular idea to a machine. A simple example would be, let's say, tying a bell to the dog so that whenever the bell rings, the dog goes and eats its food. So these are the three primary types of machine learning algorithms which you would have to totally know about. And I'll also list down a couple of algorithms on supervised learning. So in supervised learning, you would have to know about linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, and so on. When it comes to unsupervised learning, you'd have to know about PCA and you would also have to know about LDA. When it comes to reinforcement learning, there you have algorithms such as A star algorithm and you also have the Q algorithm. Finally, once you're good with the first three pillars, once you're good with the mathematics, you're also good with the programming side of things and you also know all of the concepts of machine learning, this is where you would have to go and improve your expertise. You'd have to participate in a lot of machine learning projects and competitions and you'd have to collaborate with a lot of your peers across the globe so that you become a better machine learning expert. And two of the best sites for machine learning projects and competitions would be Kaggle and GitHub. So I'll just give you a brief demo of this site called as Kaggle. Let me open up Kaggle for you folks. So as you see, this is Kaggle.com and you have all of these different tabs over here. And over here, you would see that you have the Compete tab. Just click on this. And here you would see you have a whole list of competitions for you. And the best part is if you win this competition, you can also win a huge prize money. So you have this competition over here, answer correctness prediction. And if you win this, then you stand a chance to win $100,000. Similarly, you have another active competition, Jane Street Market Prediction. Again, if you win this, you stand a chance to win $100,000. And not just this, the best part about Kaggle is you will find a whole variety of data sets over here. So let's say if you are interested in this TV series called as Game of Thrones. So let me just write down Game of Thrones over here. And as you see, you will find a data set on Game of Thrones and you can apply your ML algorithms on top of this data set and find out interesting insights. Similarly, if I'm interested in this anime called as Pokemon, I can just write down Pokemon over here. And as you see, I have this data called as Pokemon. Now you also have this communities tab over here. So if you'd want to learn something new, if you'd want to improve your expertise, you can just go to this communities tab. You can speak with your peers across the globe and upskill yourself. So folks, this was the entire roadmap of machine learning. Your first pillar is mathematics. Then you would have to be good at programming. After that, you would have to comprehensively know about all of the ML algorithms. And once your first three pillars are established, that is when you go to these different machine learning competitions and improve your expertise. So thank you very much. And before signing off, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you do not miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or suggestions and I'll respond to your comments.